Good morning, my fellow ARC players. This is Ty Creek Rock back for another exciting day here on the ARC Survival Evolved, the Lost Island map. This is day number 234 of our little adventure here. And, well, the end of last episode, we managed to knock out this Easter-colored Tech T-Rex here. It is still in the process of taming. We filled it full of prime meat. It's at 80% tame right now. Well, I'm trying to check its inventory, see how much more prime meat it's got. It's got enough meat in it, and it's got nine minutes on the spoil timer, so I don't know if it'll have enough to tame up or not. It's getting about 8% per bite. It's got enough prime meat if it just doesn't spoil before it tames up. There's basically been nothing out here at night except a Pteranodon in a level 145 145 Stegosaur right over there. So nothing's really bothered us. That's a really good Stegosaur if I was looking for Stegosaurs. But anyway, let's put this T-Rex on our taming hood up here. And I think we're going to go try to get a little bit more prime meat just in case. Just in case that spoils before he gets completely done. Right there's a couple of Brontos, but I'll have to kill them both if I go after them. So let's see if we can find something else. What level are you, Brontos? 85 and a 50. There's a Rex going after him already. We'll just kill that Rex, I guess, unless it's a really good one. Where's the Rex at? Level 20. Yeah, let's just get rid of the Rex and we'll use the prime meat off of this Rex to feed the one we're taming. Wow, it's a Christmas or an Easter colored one too. Come on, Brontos. Give me a break here. I'm going to hit things out. Just want the meat off the Rex. I don't want to kill you, Brontos. feed this to our tech T-Rex so we'll be sure it's got enough meat to tame up on it. Probably does anyway, but this will be a little extra little extra bonus. Make sure. We also got a really colorful green horse over here that's been messing around. See what level it is. It is an Easter colored level 20 Equus with green and blue legs, blue socks. Okay, it's only a couple pieces of prime, but that should be enough to get the timer up on it to keep that Rex from running out of prime meat. I was going to go do another cave today, but all my armor is busted from that other cave, getting Arthropleura attacked right at the end. So I think instead of doing another cave today, I think we're going to get out and fly around over here on the west side of the map and see if there's any more nice looking Rexes over here, any high level ones. I don't think we're going to tame any more low level ones. This is a 102 Tech Rex, which is really not that good a Rex, but it was just such a pretty color I had to go ahead and try to tame it. That and the fact that Tech Rex are so hard to find on this map. I think that's only like the fifth one I've ever seen, and I've tamed four of those five. If I was in the market for a Stegosaur, I'd tame this Stegosaur here, because it is a 145, but I don't think I really want it. Don't really want to mess with it right now, and we ain't got but just a... We ain't got no Trank darts. We've got Trank arrows. We used all our Trank darts on this Tech T-Rex, and I didn't bring any shocking ones with me. If I had of That would have been a much easier tame if I had brought some shocking Tranquilizer darts with me. It's at 96%, so it basically just likes one more bite, so we're going to wait on him to get up. Wait on him to get up before we take off from here. Tranodon, what level are you? You ain't going to let me see, are you? I don't need to tame any more Tranodons, but this Rex has got all the wild colors. It's got green and pink and gold and a blue head. But it should be up pretty soon here. Let's check the taming thing on it and see how much it actually does like. It likes about 30 food before it'll get up. 
and it's at 74.75 right now. We're going to wait on it, and then we're going to just explore over here on the west side of the map and see what kind of wrecks we can spot or other creatures. We may look for other creatures too, I guess we could. Basically just looking for Rexes though. I think there's a Giga spawn up here somewhere right over in there. I think it's where I've seen a Giga at before. We may fly up in there and see if there's any Giga spawn. This guy should be ready to get up. Yep, he's about ready. Go ahead and turn that HUD off. Should be up any second now. Okay, I was going to try to get a screenshot here with my new big tech Rex. Can't seem to maneuver this camera at all, though. Right there's my big tech Rex. The, the Easter colors on it. Let's get him in a cryopod and we'll go out and do some hunting. It came out of 152, which is not terrible for a low level Rex, but its stats is pretty terrible. Stick it in a cryopod, and it is also another male, so we've only got one female Tech Rex. And it's not that great a one either. I want to look at the cryopod and see what it shows on the colors real quick before we take off. Yep, it's got some wild colors on it. It's got 5,900 health. It's got 335 melee, 1,302 stamina, 720 weight, 10,800 food, so it's basically a food rex. Let's fly around over here on the west side of the map see what other kind of rexes we can spot or other creatures that we might be interested in. There's a slightly blue and purple brontosaur. This is a rex area over in here, I reckon. See if we can spot any more today. Like I said, I was thinking about doing a cave, but my armor's all busted up right now. What is this, Gallimimuses? Yep, I was going to get me a drink of water, and boy, there's a bunch of fish in this pond, ain't they? I need fish pretty bad, but... I guess I can get a little bit of fish before we take off. My itchy ornest bird back at base is getting pretty low on the fish, so we'll grab a little bit of that take back to the bird. I'm going to fly around and see what kind of creatures we can spot over here on this side of the map today. Right there's another Rex. I don't know if the Super Rexes will spawn on this side of the map or not. So I guess I got to be a little bit careful here. If I get too close to a Super Rex, they can dismount you. Right there is a Rex. It is a 50 though, it ain't a very good one. These Bronto or these tracks might actually defeat it. I'm gonna help them out. Oops, I accidentally hit the tracks. Oh well, I guess the tracks are going down too. Didn't really mean to do that. Okay, I want to fly up on that hillside over there where I seen a Giga at before and see if a new Giga might have spawned. There's another Rex already though. And the game is locked up. Another colorful Rex, level 145. Boy, that is a good one. I don't have the stuff to tame it with right now though. 
So that might be a project for later on to come back over here and try to tame that. Okay, level 145 Easter Rex would be pretty good. And there's another Rex. Boy, they, they're over here, ain't they, today? Come on, game. Quit being so glitchy. Let's check out the levels on these Rexes. That is a level 85 there. We probably should just go ahead and get rid of that one for the Bronto's sake. This is kind of ugly colored anyway. It's not a good one. I don't know if I hit the Bronto or not. It's not attacking me, so I guess I did. There's a Tech Stegosaur. 66. Not a great one, though. And a Tech Parasaur. It's not a very good one, either. The only Tech creatures I've tamed so far... That could possibly be a Unicorn, but it's yellow instead of white, isn't it? It is a yellow-colored horse. Really yellow. Level 15. Yellow and red. thinking right up here this little valley where I might have seen a Giga when I first started playing, but the more I look at it, the more I think that is probably the wrong spot. And this definitely looks like a Rex area right here. We've got Brontosaurs everywhere. Not a single Rex. There's a bunch of Raptors over that way. Actually, we should check the wiper trench because we did do a dino wipe. This might respawn for us. We might get some Easter colored ice wyverns over here. Definitely should check. I am freezing to death up here, though. Might also get a alpha wyvern, so we've got to be careful up here. Alpha Wyvern would run me down and kill me if we run into one of those. There's another Rex. Let's check the Rex. Let me find a Super Rex and get Fear Lord. It's at 135, so I don't want to kill him at 135. Don't want to kill high level Rexes in case we decide to tame him. There is a, a Managamar. I think that's how you say their name Managamar. Kind of curious. Yeah, there is a ice wyvern, so they have respawned over here. It is a level 95, which is not a great one. And right there is an egg, so let's say that egg is probably a 95. Yep, that's probably that one's egg. I'm not going to mess with it right now. I don't really want a 95 egg. Let's see if there's any more down here. I don't see any, and I don't think I'm going to go down in there. I'm going to just look for Rexes today, I think. That's kind of what I like to do anyway, is hunt for Rexes and high-level creatures. There's a Rex or a UD-1 or the other right under me. Let's see what this is. Well, the loading is really terrible right here. Is that a Rex under me or just a UD? I think it's a UD. What level is a UD? Level 20. Yeah, that's a terrible one. I was going to say, there's a Rex, but no, it's a, no a Margosaurus. There's another UD right here next to me. I wonder it didn't start screaming at me. Level 85. We're out of here. We're looking for Rexes today. We're just going to explore the west side of the map and see if we can spot any Rexes. I'm going to fly on over here. We'll do that other cave maybe in the next few days. There is another cave back, back toward the east on the north side. And I know there's actually more caves, but I just don't know where they're at yet. 
I think I've actually maxed my level out because my little arrow down there in the bottom right hand corner is all the way full and he's green and I'm at level 107 so I think that's probably the max level you can actually get there's an allosaurus pack this is a Rex spawn area right up here, but the Allosaurs are in their spot today, looks like. No, that might be a Rex right over there. Allosaurs, what are you? Any good ones in there? Nope, 45 is the Alpha. No, that is Stegos over there. We'll head up the hill here. There's a spot up here on the hill where Rexes and stuff can spawn right in this little hole right here. I have seen a bunch of Rexes right in here before. We've got a really green rhinoceros down here right now. Let's see what he looks like. I haven't tamed a rhinoceros and this is kind of a cool looking one. I see a Rex over there coming toward me, I think. No, that is a mammoth. I've seen that thing in the woods there and I thought, well, that's a Rex walking through the trees coming my way. Turns out it's just a mammoth. I did find one of my tech rexes right up here. It was on this hillside right here when I was up here looking around. What is that pink thing down there? Is that a pink horse or is that a patchy rhinosaurus, I think? Yeah, my tech T-Rex was just walking around this hillside right here. One of them that I tamed. That is a patchy rhinosaurus, isn't it? Boy, this game cannot handle you flying around in circles. It just really messes with it when you do that. Really glitches it out when you fly around in circles because it can't load both sides of the map at the same time. Now I'm going to fly down this west side of the map and see if there's any more Rex, is there anything else interesting? I'm sure there will be. What is that pink thing right there? Is that a pig? Come on, land for me. Land, wyvern. Well, that is a wasted land. Too far away to see the pink thing. What's the tech parasaur here? 24? That's terrible. I haven't seen a good tech parasaur on this map. I tamed a bunch of them over on the last map we played. I guess it was Crystal, or was Crystal Isles the last map. I think it was Crystal Isles. But I had tamed a whole bunch of level 180 tech parasaurs over there. 102 tech stegosaur. Where's that pink thing I seen at? I can't even spot it now right in these trees. It's probably just a Fomomia. thought it might have been a dire bear, but I say it's just a Fomomia. Yep, there it is. Big fat Fomomia. A pig. Some wild colors on it. Let's get back on around and do our hunting. See if we might spot a nice high level Super Rex or something. We did spot a 145 over here. If I had my track darts with me and stuff, I would probably tame it. But I don't. I'm not prepared to fly back to base to get the stuff. And if we was going to tame a 145, we would probably kibble tame it. Is there a T Rex down there? Heard the Brontos making that noise like they were fighting something. Game, quit your glitchiness. We need to be able to see what's going on here. We got Gallimimuses over there. What is this? A sheep or just a rock? It's just a rock. Sure thought that was a sheep for a minute. We've got Patchy Rhinosaurus fighting something really tiny, probably compies. 
There's another Alpha Raptor. I'm gonna take on another Alpha Raptor. That helps me level up really fast. Well, I guess I'll let that thing beat on him for a minute or two and then I'll take him on. Because he's gonna die pretty quickly. I guess I can go ahead and get the kill on this. level are you, Alpha Raptor? It must be a high level one and it doesn't been dead. 145. Yep, it was definitely a high level one. That leveled up my wyvern again. And there's another T-Rex. and It's eating a tech, tech Stegosaur. Tech Stegosaur is a 24. The Rex is a 85. I'd say the Rex will win anyway. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we got in our inventory from that raptor. I don't know what we got from that raptor, actually. Don't see anything new. I don't guess we got nothing. We should have. I'm going to dump out the prime meat out of my inventory. We're not going to use it, and it's taking up a lot of slots. And then I'm going to go take out this T-Rex here. Because it's apparently done made snack of those stegosaurs. Okay, Bronto, you're welcome. We are looking for more T Rexes. This definitely is T Rex area right here, and there it goes one. It's getting attacked by something. What's attacking it? dead. Raptor pack killed it. I didn't think raptors would attack T-Rexes, but they sure did, didn't they? It's 145 raptor in that bunch. I really didn't think raptors would attack T-Rexes, but they sure destroyed that one. There is a pink carno. Let's see what level the pink carno is. Managed to hide from me, didn't he? There he comes. After the parasaur. Well, he's only a 20, though. He's pretty bad. Pink Carno's only a level 20. I don't think we're going to mess around out here too awful much. We're just basically looking around for high level creatures. Mostly T Rexes. See what we can find. We've got some terrible loading problems here. I want to go ahead and level up my wyvern. He did get a level up from killing that alpha raptor a while ago. Give him more melee. He is almost at a thousand melee now. He's got 991. So he's a pretty good wyvern. Handle just about anything other than a Giga. Or a Super Rex. He couldn't handle a Super Rex, of course. What's the Bronto swinging at? There must be a Rex down there. He's swinging at something. Yep, that's that 145, ain't it? That's the 145 Easter Rex that I seen earlier. Yep, that definitely is. We're not going to mess with that. We're going to maybe tame that in a few days or something. Get away from it so it doesn't... Nothing happen to it. I 
trying to think of where I seen the gig is at. It was on one of these hillsides here where there's a little arch in the middle of it. Guess we'll fly on up here and see if the game doesn't crash on us. It sure seems like it's wanting to off a of bat. Every time I turn a corner, it just about freezes up. There's a Carno up on this mountaintop. Stegosaur. This is Subsidian Hill, looks like. I'm not sure which way I want to go from here. Let's just go up this way and head back toward our base, I think, because we're going to be done here in a little bit, I believe. This might have been the hill where I seen the Giga at earlier. But like I said, during the Easter event, I did do a dino wipe and got rid of every creature on the map. Tech Stego is a level 60. I imagine if I found some level 180 Tech Stegosaurs, I might tame them one. I might tame a Tech Stegosaur. There's a Rex. Boy, it just blends right in, doesn't it? Level 50. Blends right in with the rocks. I just about did not see that. You were hiding pretty well. Camouflage Rex. Are you stuck in there? Nope, you're not. And you left a bag, of course. I just want the Rex arms. I don't want nothing else. I guess I'll take that crank arrow, though. Take the trank arrows, save me narcotics and stuff, making more of them. Low level Rexes. Of course, we do have seen a 135 and a 145. Boy, there is a colorful one. Level 90. I really like the blue band on its head, but I'm fixing to get rid of him because he's very low level and they are fighting with raptors. 130 raptor, there's a tech raptor underneath him. What level is the tech raptor? 18? Yep, tech raptor's only 18. Let's go clean up this mess before those raptors manage to kill him. We'll get the kill and we get some level ups that way. If we can land. Come on, Wyvern, what are you doing? My goodness. I kill it? Yeah, I killed him. Thought for a minute the raptor should got him. There's another one. That is a tech rex down there. Hope it's a super high level female one. It is a 24. Wow, that's terrible. Guess we'll get some electronics if these raptors don't kill it before I do. Okay, been on a Rex hunting spree here. There's a, no, that is a Carno. I thought I'd spotted another one already. I was going to say, boy, they're everywhere over here. We're going to start heading back toward base. That 135 was over here by the Wyvern Trench. Anything down there? There is an Alpha Carno. Do we want to battle Alpha Carno? Definitely level up her thing. I just don't know if I'm ready for that or not. Let's try it. Let's do an Alpha Carno. Get her stamina back before we jump in on it. And actually, we should drop some weight just in case. Just in case we have to fly off quickly. I think it might kick her butt. I don't think it will, but. Wyvern's got almost a thousand melee. I'd say it will have a thousand after I kill this thing. Let's drop all the prime too, because that's just going to keep us from picking stuff up. Didn't have as much as I thought I had.
okay, Alpha, so you can get that sunburn off of you. Leave the burn of that sunburn with a little bit of frost breath. This is a really high level one. It should definitely level me up. Or level my wyvern up anyway. Okay. That slot capped me. And what did it give me? It gave me a bunch of high tier leather stuff. Well, it gave me a lot of armor. It gave me two pieces of journeyman leather, a piece of apprentice chitin, and a piece of ramshackled chitin. So it gave me a bunch of stuff. Yep. We gotta dump some stuff here. Drop the prime again. Hoping that would level up my wyvern again, but it didn't. Should boy, it didn't really do much. Really thought that would. And my chibi is at level two. I guess it did level my chibi up. Let's get back toward base. What is the blue thing? blue pig maybe or a blue sheep it ain't loaded in yet it's a really blue sheep wow and I see another Rex over there because I see a Bronto swinging its tail which means it's fighting with a Rex that's basically the only thing they fight with Let's see what level it is or did they already kill it or am I mistaken it actually wasn't fighting nothing I don't see a body, so they must not have been fighting anything. Sure looked like they were there for a minute. Okay, what have we got down there? Just a ton of stegos. When I look in the other direction, the game just basically locks up. I'm gonna head back toward base. Skim the edge of the Arctic up here. They sometimes wrecks us up here along the edges. Never know what you might find up in the edge of the Arctic. Udes and Rexes and Carnos and Amargosauruses and Managamars and Megatheriums. There's a Rex after a elk. That is a 150. That is a perfect, perfect Rex. Let's leave him alone. We'll come back later with some shocking tranquilizer darts. We might tame up a few more Rexes. It's really not going to do me no good, though. There is another one. Another one. What level is this? One? Wow, another 150. There's two 150 T Rexes. Up here in the edge of the Arctic. Two max level T Rexes. I guess they're really not max level now since they got the Super Rexes on this map. I know where two max level Rexes are in a 145 and two 150s, so that's crazy. I probably shouldn't even mess with them because I do have the Super Rexes already tamed. And those are going to be pretty pathetic next to those. But if Ark was decided to get rid of the Super Rexes, I would definitely need some better ones. Come on, game. Work with me here. I'm going to have to land and get my stamina back. I kind of want to look up here on this hillside because there's another Rex spawn right up here. Right up on that ledge is a place where I've got several of my high-level Rexes at, so I'm going to fly up there and see if anything is spawned in. See what time it is. It is 1,700 hours, so we about made a day of it. We 
We did get a really cool looking Easter colored Tech Rex this morning though. Right up here is where I got my first Tech Rex. This ledge right here, I hear something. What is that, a Uteranus? I got my first UD right here too, and a Tech Rex, and another high level Rex on top of that. I heard a Uteranus just down here below me, isn't it? It is a... what level are you, Uteranus? 20? Yep, it's only a 20. It is pretty bad. I don't know how it's winning this fight with these mammoths. I guess the Carnos are, must be high level. Carno looks like a 20 also. And a 55, that's pretty bad. How'd you ever beat those mammoths? They must have been terrible mammoths. There's something. That's a rhinoceros, ain't it? A woolly rhino. Yep. Just a woolly rhino. Is that a cave down there? I don't know. Let's look. Kind of looks like a cave. I'm sure I've looked before, though. I've been up here a bunch. Nope, that's not a cave. It's just a little waterfall right there. I do know where another cave is that I'm going to try to do pretty soon. I'm trying to see what that blue thing is below me there. Oh, it's just elk. It's two elk and they both got blue antlers on them. Let's get on back to base. I think we're going to call it a day. We've seen a bunch of really good T-Rexes today. There's two 150s up in the Arctic. A Easter colored 145 on the other side of the map and then they's over by the Wyvern Trench is a 135. So there's lots of good Rexes out there right now. And we've got a really colorful tech one. I guess we'll throw it out down here. And then we'll end our video off. Hopefully we won't have any more disturbances down here for a while. Fly down here to our Thala place. And our tech T-Rexes are right here. They won't load in though because this place is so glitchy. I'm going to throw out this other Tech Rex over here next to these. I guess I'll throw him on this side of this rock. I did farm this rock up, but it managed to come back. Here's the one we tamed today. It's really pretty, but it ain't going to load in either, though. This ain't got no legs. There it is. It actually loaded in. But this is our T-Rex for today. A 152 tech with the Easter colors, and then we've got these three more, which they're basically all all males except for this 179. I think is a female. Yep, we got a 179 female, a 170 male, and a 241 male. The 241 is the good one. But anyway, I think we're going ahead and end it off. I've had a pretty good day of Rex hunting. But anyway, if you like this video. Please give it a big thumbs up and thanks again for watching. This is Ty Creek Rock on the Lost Island map, signing out.